Someone asked the Buddha once, what is the most dangerous thing in the world? And the Buddha said, your beliefs, your views. And then he asked, what is the most powerful thing in the world? The Buddha said, it is your beliefs. It is your views. So we are here because of what happened 10 years ago. He has permanently changed our lives around the world. And we see firsthand what, how powerful, how dangerous a belief can be. I was talking to a lady right before the program. She works with kids on school violence and I asked her, how many kids have experienced or been involved in bullying? She said, including those who witness bullying, probably 90% in our schools. Is there something similar? There is. Buddha would say there is something similar in the school kids who practice violence on others and the terrorists. That is the anger. That is the hatred. That is a belief that we can overpower people. And it's okay to hurt others. But we have also seen wonderful examples from this film. How these people can overcome this greatest danger with a belief, your views. So the Buddha said in his path to liberation, the Eightfold Path, the first one is right views. So they believe these families individuals they believe that no matter what we experience, what people do to us, we can still believe that we can serve, that something good can come out of us. And that is the most powerful thing. So these people are very ordinary people but they're also the most extraordinary. What makes them extraordinary? Well, we have all of that within us too. We have experienced suffering, but we also have choice to believe in what is right. What is right is to see clearly the interdependence, the relationship, we have with each other. The way we can help each other to live a better life. And that is the truth. Whereas a dangerous belief is we can get what we want by taking away from others. So it's the right view. When we see it, it becomes the truth. It becomes wisdom. It becomes compassion. It becomes service. It becomes our path to liberation. So Buddha says everyone can awaken to this. Everyone can become enlightened. I hope, I think we are all inspired today by examples of these families. And guess what? We can be that too.